Jared, we're here with Gulls Insider, and I'm joined by the four pitchers last night who combined over 15 innings to pick up the W for the Gulls on the road against Mystic. Starting with my far right, I got Taylor Gilbo, Darren Gillies, Kyle Wilcox, Sean Hartnett. We got some Pac-12. We got some SEC. We got a little bit of everything here. I'm going to start with Taylor, Alabama, SEC. You were on the mound to start the game last night. Talk about your five and a third innings. Uh, went really well. You know, first couple innings didn't have um, off speed, but I slowly gathered it through the third and so on, and I just commanded my fastball and curveball, and that's what helped me out with the, uh, through my five innings. What are some of the things you're working on on the mound this summer before you head back down to Tuscaloosa? Uh, arm strength, being able to go the distance, throw uh, a lot more innings, uh, especially commanding my fastball and also uh, developing a lot better changeup. Quick word association, War Eagle, what do you think? No good. Let's go to Darren Gillies, Arizona State. You came in four and two-thirds innings of work. Talk about your four innings of work. Yeah, you know, I just came in in a two-to-two -two game, just trying to keep the team in the game the whole time, just try to commit to making pitches and just try to get some guys out. Huge Pac-12 contingency on this ball club. What's it like to play with some of the guys who you were playing, it, playing against in Pac-12 play this season? It's fun. I mean, you get to know some of the guys on a personal level. And, you know, when you play against them, you just know the other guy in another uniform. But to be able to make friendships with these guys makes it a lot more fun to go back into conference play and be able to see them grow in their career. Going to turn to Kyle Wilcox, Bryant University, a Rhode Island guy. Rhode Island, in, in terms of college, Connecticut guy, born and bred. Kyle, you came in in extra innings. What's it like to come in relief in extras? Uh, it was a lot of fun to be part of a game like that. Uh, our, our pitching staff worked really well together to put together a bunch of innings that were scoreless until we could finally get a run. And uh, I was able to command my fastball, and it worked out. Now, you're at a Bryant University, not one out of one of the powerhouse conferences in, in college baseball, college athletics. What's it like to go, go in head-to-head -head against guys who from the Pac-12, the ACC schools like that, on a week-in, week-out basis? Uh, it's a great opportunity to be with these guys that have played at really high level. And uh, towards the end of the season, we were able to play against some of these teams play in our regional at Kansas State. And uh, early on, we played at Oregon State. And it's just been a lot of fun. Now let's go to Sean Harnett, who picked up the W, two innings of work. What's it like to get the win at the end of 15 innings? You know, that, i got to say that's a first for me. I don't think I've ever picked up a win in extras. But, uh, you know, I just came in through, through strikes, just tried to do my job. Now you said you asked there are only four guys who pitched last night. What's it like mentally to go through a game that's 15 innings long, probably four-plus hours? How do you stay in it mentally, especially when you're in the bullpen for most of that time? You know, it's tough, but you, you just got to focus on the game. You got to monitor the game, know, know when and if you're going to get in, and you got to stay focused. And you're one of maybe five or six Wazoo guys on this roster. What's it like to play with so many guys who you play with day in, day out in the spring? You know, uh, it's fun, you know. It's comfortable out here playing with all these guys. I know I got good defense behind me if they're out there. All right, guys, thanks for your time. These are your four pitchers from last night. Again, Taylor Gilbo, Darren Gillies, Kyle Wilcox, and Sean Harnett. Thanks for your time, guys. Now we're going to send it to Nick Lima with the manager's report here on the NECBL Broadcast Network.